Hey, gorgeous. How are you? Good. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. I'm doing really well. I'm doing nice well. to finally meet you. I, like I you. know. How, where um, are you? Are you in New York? I'm in Los Angeles. So okay. I've, I've been living in New York for many years, but, um, uh, but yeah, I, I came out here. So for this, oh, I happened cool. to be here during the quarantine. So I stayed. Oh, wow. And you have, yeah. your, do you have kids? My kids are, are in Europe. Oh, okay, cool. With their dad at the moment. So they're good. Oh, and yeah. I have my doggies here. They've oh, been nice. Busy, busy and, and uh, out doing hikes and stuff. Yeah. So it's been great. <laughs> That's nice. So, yeah, Where yeah. have you been hiking? Everywhere I like have been looking for. Well, oh. everything's been closed. I mean, yeah. like I go out and just, you know, run with them. There's like certain like fields where there are baseball, you know, a baseball field at a school. You know, I just try to kind of go where people are kind of going. Yeah. And it's okay. And there's not many people and, you know, yeah. but I'm excited for them to open up sort of more places that we can hike and get out. And I know. Get out in nature again. Cause I know. I'm nice. wondering what the timeline is, if it's really going to be. May 15th that everything will open up or if it's yeah I think in the next month I think between now and June they'll kind of slowly roll out stuff that we can you know do a little bit at a time that's safe you know for everyone yeah I hope yeah. so Me too. um Me well too. I have some questions that people asked that I'm going to get to okay. um they someone asked can you tell us about the Gossip Girl re reboot and, and your involvement in it if, I don't really it what if, if you if you have any involvement in it, yeah, no, I don't have any involvement in it. Okay. I mean, they let me know that they were doing it, and you know, and asked for all of our support, obviously. Um, but there's a an actor Eli that I worked with on Pretty Little Liars, and he's going to be in it. And um, I guess they're going to find the archive of Gossip Girl, so it's going to start sort of they find the archive of Gossip Girl, and it goes from there. So, oh, cool. I mean, they mentioned maybe having some of us back and. You know, like here Canadian and there or something. Stuff. Yeah, I, but yeah. I, haven't heard I don't even know when they're supposed to launch it. I don't know when it's supposed to. Uh, yeah, I, I don't. I don't go. Know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what have you been doing? <laughs> what else have you been doing during quarantine? Like, what are your quarantine essentials besides hiking? Uh, yeah, I mean, I just have been walking the dogs and writing a bit, and I have a fun little just art projects I've been doing and meditating and I've been cooking obviously a lot more than I normally do and grocery shopping a lot more which has been yeah. really a good thing because I'm eating really healthy and and doing a lot of these so I've been doing a lot of lives which I had never done before so that's I've been never really done, fun right I've, it's, yeah, I've never done them either before this yeah oh my gosh, I need something to it's, do. A, it's, a, it's a great thing to do you know it yeah. gives you something to do and a way to stay connected and, and and we're having conversations we may not have had before you know it's true it's so true it's good. yeah I'm having a lot of conversations with a lot of new people that I probably wouldn't have reached out to or yeah uh, so it's nice yeah um what's your schedule like if you're are you keeping a schedule um I'm not a big schedule person I mean I I mean I work within a certain framework of wanting to get certain things done so I'm I definitely make lists of things I want to get done and then I kind of feel into what's appropriate today of that list to do kind of what feels joyful to do um so I'm always adding to that list. It's a never ending, yeah. <laughs> a never ending list of things to do and, or, or things I I'd like to do in the future. You know, it's just kind of like, ah, I, I put like an idea page and then I kind of do it day by day. So I think, okay, if I can get this done in the next couple of days, but my schedule has been very, it's kind of the same as it was before. I mean, to be honest with you, it's, um, you know, I get up, I get my coffee, I walk the dogs, I come back, I write a bit, I, do a couple errands, whatever that mean, like grocery, you know, that kind of thing. Or yeah. Today I went for a walk with my family, which was really nice. Oh, nice. And oh, they all live in LA too? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's which nice. has been such a blessing. Yeah. So, um, yeah. What about you? What have you been doing? Um, Cause you live in LA. Yeah. You live yeah, here? I've been in LA and I've been, you know, going on walks and trying to stay active. There's a couple of like yoga instructors I follow that I'll do their class oh, on Instagram live or, you know, um, yeah. So just that and reading, I've been trying to like, I have this really cheesy app <laughs> called Goodreads where I like put in all my books and I like challenge myself to read and like, oh, and, you. and you can keep like lists of the books you want to read. And it's really funny. So I've been doing that and writing and cooking 
every single meal, which is like a yeah. big job. <laughs> it is. It's a lot. By the time you like shop, cook, clean up after yourself, after you cook, it's like your whole day. I'm like, yeah, how do people do crazy. this eating at home thing? It's like, I feel like you're either like washing everything, cooking everything, cleaning up after yourself. It's a yeah, lot. It it's, it's a fun. lot. But it's, but other than that, I mean, it's been nice. It's been, I can't really complain. Like it could be worse, you know. How did we connect? Through Leighton. Laura? It was Leighton. Okay, yes. that's who it was. I was trying to figure it out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, a lot, but like years and years ago. Who's Laura? Do I, I don't think I know. Laura. I don't know. At first I thought it might be, but it, yeah, Leighton makes more sense. And do, are you, did you work with Leighton? Are you friends with Leighton? Or no, Leighton and I went to out, like middle school together in New York City and <sighs> I was like 11 years old. And so I just, we've just been friends. Been friends. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. We've just been friends forever. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Um, what's like a, what's a favorite on set memory from Gossip Girl? Um, God, there's so many. I loved going to set. I loved it because I love New York. So I love yeah. being, I think a lot of what I loved about it was just being in the city. So your, you know, your trailer would be parked right on the streets of New York. So, you know, in between scenes or takes or at lunch, you could actually just go to your places in New York that you love to go or run errands or go have lunch. It was great to be sort of plopped in right in the city filming. Um, but I, had lo I loved working with everyone and I loved all my scenes with everyone. I really did really enjoy doing that show. Like, yeah. fully, you know, it was one of those, it wasn't like where you go, oh my gosh, I've got to go to work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or, you know, no, there are shows that I absolutely love, but let's say they were more physically strenuous. Like, you know, I've done like Homeland Security shows. Oh, yeah. Shows where, you know, I did a show called E Ring where the dialogue was just so foreign to me because it was like the AK 47s launched into yeah. this and that. You know, it's just like, yeah, oh my God, it's so not the conversations I have. You know, it was much more military yeah. talk or. You know, and I had to sort of lead the troop and, you know, lead these board meetings, these conversations. So it was just more challenging in that way to sort of get up and go, oh boy, okay, I can do this today. I can, yeah. you know, whereas Gossip Girl was such a pleasure. It was just it. It was, it fun. Seems like, I mean, yeah, filming in New York fun. and the clothes and the, it, it seems like that would be. There were so nice. many great things. And it yeah. was such an ensemble, you know, that even when you were yeah. working a lot, you know, you'd go in but it wouldn't usually be that many days that were like long full days, you know, cause. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. I guess I never thought about that. There are, mm -hmm. there were a lot of you. Yeah. Actually. <laughs> makes it a little easier. <laughs> do you keep in touch with anybody? I do. I see, um, I see, um, uh, Caroline, Caroline Lagerfeld who played my mom in the show a lot. Oh, cool. You know, she's here, she's in Santa Monica and I see her and she's in New York a lot too. Cause she's usually doing a play or something there all the oh, time. Awesome. And a lot of people, I mean, I, I'm trying to think of who I kept in touch with Matthew for a long time. I haven't, I don't know where he is now. I think he's a little off the grid and, uh, which is not a bad thing at this moment. Yeah. <laughs> Way ahead of all of us. <laughs> like, uh, I'm just going to go live somewhere and get off the, Great. And then who else? Gosh, I see. I saw Ed and Jessica in Paris. Oh, nice. This last summer, we did a convention together. Oh, how fun. And, you know, we keep in touch a little bit here and there. Just everyone's busy. I mean, and working yeah. or traveling or something. Yeah, so, you know, a little bit. Everybody a little bit. Um, what have you been working on most recently? I, well, did, I, I did some Dynasty, Pretty Little Liars, The Perfectionist. We did that that spinoff, and we were held, really, until October of last year. So I did some TV movies and things like that in between, just to, and some Dynasty episodes, just because that's what I was, could do when you're on hold. Yeah. You, kind of, you can't go do another show. Right. So that's why I came out to L.A. to do pilot season this year, because I haven't done it in 10 years. And oh, I wow. just said, you know, I'm either going to sit and just wait for offers or I want to go and just get in the mix and get in the room. And because I haven't yeah. done it in so long. And um, so my agent was like, please come out. You know, I think you're going to have many more, you know, you have a lot more choice. And um, so, and it does. I was actually having fun until <laughs> the quarantine. Like, this is fun. Yeah. Like, I've forgotten, what, you know, it's exciting to go in a room and have the material and work with people. I love it. So it was, it's been fun. How about you? Like, how have you been? I mean, have you been doing self tapes or how have you been? Um, I was more at the beginning. And yeah. then I think like once 
a lot of the productions shut down, like the my tapes have kind of tapered off. Um, yeah. What about you? Have you been doing a lot? I, no, just a couple, like two or three, I think. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think it's just like they don't know when we'll be back on set. So then, I, know. So, I know. But hopefully, hopefully soon. I'm hoping yeah. the next month or so things will start to ramp up because yeah. this is so strange. <laughs> You know, it's funny though, today I was kind of like, oh, I'm happy for everyone to get back to work and, and, you know, feed their families and this all to kind of, you know, that part of it and, and to be healthy and to, and, and all that. But it's been kind of nice. I mean, there's a side of it other than that fear of, oh my gosh, yeah. the financial fear and the, right. the fear of, you know, just wanting to stay healthy and all that. But just, you know, it's been nice to have it be so quiet for a change, you know? Yeah, it is nice. And connect with people in a different way and, and to kind of feel like we're all in it together instead of, you know, you see something happening over there or you see something happening over there and to have everything get quiet um, for all of us globally. It's been a really yeah kind of, it's, you know, I don't want to say it's a beautiful thing everything. because it's been just so challenging, but it's, it's you know, it's, it's, um, there, there have been things that have been, I'll miss the quiet of it, you know? Yeah, the, yeah. I mean, the it's... simpleness of it, you know, the yeah. way. And if you do feel a little stressed, it's like, you know, everybody is, it's affecting everybody. So yeah, like, that's what you realize. Their, when was the last time we were, literally, we were all in it globally and, and had the same yeah. fears, yeah. same, you know, concerns and, and stuff. So, yeah. Um. Someone asked actually on here, how did you end up booking Gossip Girl? Was it just the normal, like, audition yeah I um I had just had my son and I didn't have a babysitter and I went in he was in a baby seat and I went into the small room in Culver City with this fabulous young casting director and I think my hair was wet because I got another shower my hair was back and I just put on some sort of anything I don't know like a blazer or something and I just thought just go in just do it it's okay if you don't have a babysitter and I sat my son down. Thank goodness he slept through it. The thing. Oh my god! Literally, with me, this casting director, and a camera, just read off the page. I just was like, okay, I'm just gonna do the best I can do, and um, and that's how it happened. So, yeah. and there were other things that I was so stressed about, or I w thought I wanted, or I thought would, and you know, you end up where you're supposed to be. But they they had done another show, The OC, which I had read for years before. Um, um, for, and then for, ended up for, for the OC. For, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was one of my favorite shows. When I was yeah. Younger. So I read for that originally with them. So I knew Josh and Stephanie from that. And then I ended up testing for another show. So didn't what didn't end up testing for it, but I was one of the people that was supposed to test for it. And I ended up doing this Homeland Security show instead. But oh, wow. um, so it worked out. Like I already knew them. They knew me. So it wasn't like a brand new thing. And yet, you know, I went into lead and just to show that I, yeah, you know, more my take on it. That's awesome. I love so. that your kid was there, like a good luck. Well, I, love, I know. <laughs> it was like, you just, you just figure it out. You're just like, okay, new mom. Here I am. That's doing so my sweet. best. That's yeah. So um, someone asked, how do you work on self-confidence? Um, well, you have to take your power back, you know? It's like you have to take your power back because you can't please everyone. And in trying to please everyone, you diminish your power uh, and you're, you kind of water down your authenticity and who you really are. And you're never going to please everyone anyway. So you're never going to be the right this, the right that, whatever, you know? And mm -hmm. if the more you become, you know, the more you love yourself, more in, and what I mean that by that is that you accept yourself, accept who you are, and love that, whatever that is. Um, the more you'll align with the right people and the right projects and the right things, you know, you'll, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Versus when your energy is dispersed trying to please everyone, and believe me, I grew up such a people pleaser and wanted everyone to be happy and please yeah. everyone, and you know, and I still, I still am such a mom that way. I'm like, oh, I want everyone to be, you know. Yeah. But there's, there's, I realize there's a difference and there's a fine line between, okay, yeah, want, you know, being a kind human being yeah. and sending love out to everyone and, and empowering other people so you can empower them with the languaging and your energy. 
it's it's um that's really what it's about it's saying how am i seeing versus how am i being seen yeah so it's i i choose to see you know versus worrying so much about how i'm being seen that's yeah and that's something tracy ellis ross said so beautifully oh, and wow. um i don't know how she, i just i there was something she posted on instagram and it was so it, she just articulated it yeah. so beautifully and that is that. you know we've got to show up and and do we want to do this job is this a job i would feel comfortable doing i don't care how old you are i don't care if you're starting out just be in that place of who are these people and who will I be working with and what will that be like? And the same thing with love, you know, do I, am I really seeing this person? And is this someone that I would want to be with versus are they going to like me? Am I going to wear the right thing? Am I going to, you know, challenge them, show up in those Birkenstocks and a t-shirt yeah. and say, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because yeah how else will you know? I mean, if you show up, the more authentically we show up, the quicker yeah. we know if it's going to be right for us and a lot less backpedaling and making up for stuff that we're going to have to do. Wasted time. Let's put it that way. Yeah. You're going to spend a lot less wasted time. That's true. And a lot of it is visualizing what you want and really honing into your own uh, home frequency, you know, get quiet write about what you love, write about what you want, visualize it, co-create it. In other words, be a co-creator and that's empowering and be around people that, are, that empower you. You know, don't be around people that say things about you or that you're worried about, or you're worried about if they're saying things behind your back or, you know, there, you get these kind of comments, you know, that make you, but, you know, pay attention. How are you seeing? Look around, you know, who's who and what's what to the best of your ability. Yeah, you know, and do it for you. Do it because you want to do it. Whatever it is, not because you feel like you have to do it or you should do it, or you know, do it because it feels right for you to do it, and you're excited to do it, and it makes you feel good. Yeah, I think that was great advice. That yeah. was great. <laughs> Thank you. Melinda, um, start a, yeah, start seeing. You know. Yeah. Um. I think I just have one last question and then I'll let you go. Thank you so much for doing this. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, what is your favorite project you've done so far, thus far in your career? That's, you know, I've been very, very blessed that I have yeah. really loved most of my job. I mean, I've really loved them because they've all been really uniquely different. Like it's been, I mean, from Briscoe County Jr. playing a saloon singer to, you know, home front playing a bartender in the 1940s, you know, like these kind of period pieces yeah, that I did yeah. were really different kind of earlier in my career. And I loved them to, you know, E-ring and matrix or um, th matrix which were very you know homeland security or about yeah. the pentagon or about that kind of world which was fascinating to me and yeah just sort of and then you know like the melrose place gossip girl have been just so fun about relationships and families and the dynamic between between that um and romance you know like kindred the embraced which was you know very like a romantic kind of it's about vampires so it was like a different genre so all of these things have been so sort of uniquely different. I've been fortunate yeah. enough that, that I really loved each experience so much. It wasn't like, oh, I'm playing that same part again. Oh, so this was my favorite version of playing that part. Like yeah. they've been, you know, different enough that I've really enjoyed them so much uniquely, you know, individually. Um, yeah. 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 That's hard to I mean, say Yeah, that. I guess it's, it is such a hard question. And you've gotten to play so many different roles, which is awesome. So many different types of women. Yes. Um, which is cool. Which yeah. is fun. I think that's so fun. Yeah. Yeah. What about well, thank you? you. Um, oh, for me? I don't, yeah. I don't I know. know. I like, I think it's always different. Yeah. Every I time it, I always have a lot of fun when I work too. And then, you know, a couple of years ago I did a show called casual and I did a few episodes and most of them were directed by women and I hadn't before that worked with a lot of women in TV for some reason I there hadn't there just hadn't been a lot of yeah it's a new thing and mm -hmm. so I, that was really exciting for me because I was like oh this is 
cool. I like this. what this, <laughs> this is, is like to work with the girls. Yeah, yeah this is totally so cool. fun. Um, but it it's always fun. changing, you know, every time yeah. you work, you find something else that you love. So but. that's a fun part about what we do. Yeah, yeah. it really is. Yeah. It's 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 one of the greatest. Anyway. All right. Thank you so much. It's so you. fun.